It's Evelina Demore here and do I have a video for you today if you've seen the blog on my website or some of my recent Instagram posts you would have seen that 750 bags are currently in manufacturing <laughs> so today's just a bit of an update about what is actually being manufactured and when we can expect them in stock please remember that this is an estimate it may change it's completely out of my control um, but we do have an estimate that I will tell you but it's not set in stone. So as well as a little update, um, I'm also going to kind of combine this video and do two launch videos for some new bags as well. You probably would have seen them on my Instagram already, but I haven't done a video for them as yet. So the first one that I'm going to speak about was designed for Alison, AKA the Goblin Queen. You may have noticed her channel is down at the moment. I believe that she's moving on to some different things and focusing on her ban as a Terek at the moment. Um, but we are still going forwards with this. We have had a much smaller quantity made um, and some of those changes were the reason for that. So if you love this bag after I finish speaking about it, please go and pre-order one because I believe there's only like four left. Yeah, four. It's just like a black cat in a bag. It's beautiful. So this is all faux. It's gorgeous. It's got a lovely textured leather in it. Hopefully the camera is picking up. The detail of that leather there and we've got these thick studs here it was inspired by Alison's love for Viking aesthetic and trad goth so my job was to kind of combine those two things at the back here we have um, a symbol called the troll cross I don't know too much about it myself but it's very near and dear to Alison's heart so it was important to her that that was on here and I believe it means something about like I could be totally wrong but like always Finding yourself or like being centered or finding your way home. <laughs> I don't know, Google it if you're interested. So what I love about this bag is the fact that the strap is adjustable. And um, I've been doing that with a few of my bags recently to just make them more versatile. Because I know they are quite expensive items, so I'd like you to be able to use them in more than one way. So obviously with this being kind of like a messenger bag, you can just carry it. You can put the handle on and link the chain through. And wear it as a shoulder bag, which looks dope as fuck. Or you can loosen all of the chain and just wear a crossbody like a normal handbag. So it is really versatile. And let's take a look at the inside. So this is white and it's this beautiful, it's not velvet and it's not suede. It's thicker than suede. It's all for, it's some like really soft wool. I know I should know more about it, what the material is, but we use so many materials I can't actually keep up. So it's really wide. Look how wide that is got a makeup mirror there as well you've got a zipper at the back little sachets for your phone or makeup or whatever and of course snaps together really easily there's also a super handy pocket at the back which is just like a pouch so you can slip your hands in and that's lined with wool as well so it's generally it's just a absolutely gorgeous bag again only four of these left it's a shame that we couldn't get 200 made but you know shit happens what are you gonna do the dimensions for this bag is 12 deep which is one of the widest bags i've made second to the black friday handbag so 12 deep it is 21 high and a massive 32 centimeters long this was made long because Alison wanted to be able to fit novels and books that she's reading and she's a big reader inside here so it is going to fit a lot of your stuff. Head on over to my website if you want one of these. Okay the next bag I need to speak about is my gorgeous Beatrice Mariano handbag. I just I love this bag. I absolutely love it. I am getting 50 of these made. We have already pre-ordered about half which is fantastic. Again, this is very similar to the um, Goblin Queen handbag where you can adjust the strap and this looks so beautiful worn short or long. It's probably my favorite bag that I've designed. The star on the front is solid metal. You guys seeing how thick that is? It is lovely. And on the inside we have more black, blacker black, black velvet with the little tag there saying Beatrice's name. And inside is just hollow, it has a back zipper. So it kind of has a similar interior to what my clutches have, but you have a little pouch there and another slip there and a pocket on the back. The rest is just open, so you can fit as much crap in there as you would like. Some people have asked me if the death candy coffin will fit in here, and unfortunately it won't by about just a centimeter. 
but all my other wallets will fit inside this bag. The strap features patents as well, so it completely matches the bag. And again, you can wrap it around and make it shorter and wear it under your underarm, or you can wear it long and have it crossbody. Completely versatile and very unique. One, one really noteworthy feature of this bag is that it sits on the spikes. It will actually stand up. Yeah, I'll just show you that way. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So you can put it on the table and it will stand up on those motherfucking spikes. It's so cool. So we've got spikes on the top. And you can see it's very big compared to, let's say, the second Black Friday clutch, which is bigger than the first. Let me get that chain out of the way. You can see that this one is probably two centimeters wider and much wider at the top as well giving it an overall more square feel so you can fit more in it. The measurements of this bag are 15 tall, okay, it's 25 long and it is 8 centimeters wide. So if you compare that to the first, if you've got the version 1 Black Friday clutch, I think that was only 3 centimeters. The new one is 5 and this is 8. It's quite large but it's still petite. So it's really cute if you're going to a nightclub or something and just need to fit your essentials and still look cool. <laughs> this is the bag for you. Remember, I have lay-by as well, so some people are getting confused with lay-by and think that it's only available in Australia, but that is only for Afterpay. Afterpay is totally different to lay-by. Lay-by is available worldwide and all you need to use it is a PayPal account. Okay, so that is it for the updates on those two bags and the mini launch. Now I'm going to speak about the 750 bags that are being made and are due sometime in September. I feel like that might turn into October. <sighs> Don't hate me, they get here when they get here and there's things that are out of my control like the weather, how long the boat takes to get from like Hong Kong to Sydney, how long it takes for them to get the boxes off the boat and clear customs and then I need to find a courier to get them from Sydney to me. So that's a slow process people and I'm only one person. So please be patient. Okay, so the Beatrice Mariano handbag, again, 50 of these are being made. They are only half sold. The Goblin Queen handbag, only 20 that's all we could afford to get made um, and we've already sold 16 so get in quick if you want that gorgeous bag I will have a few samples um, for that bag for sale so DM me if you are interested in that one is actually larger it's 16 deep <laughs> which when I first saw it I thought it was too big so I actually reduced it a little bit but um, some people might prefer that and I've got two samples that are smaller as well so yeah send me a message on Instagram or Facebook if you might be keen to purchase one of those if you have pre-ordered my gorgeous version 2 Black Friday clutch this is being manufactured and we are getting 200 of these I think we've already sold we must be at the 75 mark because we obviously had it made but I haven't checked in a while so I can't <laughs> exactly remember the lovely thing about this clutch which is different to the other one which Freya mentioned in her video is that strap thing again it looks so gorgeous when you wear it like that okay. it's like high-end goth available with or without the sigil of Lucifer has that big cross on the back the inside has removed the middle pocket again just allowing you guys to fit more stuff in there it's got two pouches there one or something bigger one feels like smaller here and a zipper at the back it is that glorious red color oh my gosh that is the same look at that up against my skin the same red as the wallet the same red as the handbag so if you want the matching set sets are good <laughs> please um, be assured that the same materials have been used so they, they truly are a set now people are asking me are these still going to be available for sale once they are in stock don't you love it when the doorbell rings when you were filming? Ugh. Now, people have been asking me, will these bags still be available once they actually arrive in stock in September slash probably, <laughs> possibly October? Um, the answer is yes, but it depends on how sales are going. Like if this sells out before then, then obviously we probably won't be getting any more made so they will be sold out. So it just depends on how numbers are going. Um, so if there is one that you're worried is going to sell out and that would be the ones where we're getting less made so the Goblin Queen or Beatrice Mariano please put your pre-order in now so you don't miss out it is likely that the Black Friday version 2 clutch will be in stock by the time that they arrive here because we are getting so many made but they will also sell out so again same logic if you want it you can lay by it if you can't afford to get it like in one hit okay the next one that's being made is my beloved coffin you've seen me a lot with this on Facebook and Instagram always posing like this it's just so photogenic it's beautiful 
So you would have seen my release, possibly, um, on the minor change on this wallet if you have ordered the pink one. And we have also some exciting news that it is now available in red, green, and black. Red has been super popular. It already sold out. So I had to quickly add another 25. But again, getting quick because there's only 125 of these being made. So the small change that had to be made for this wallet, and yes, I've still got the protective cover on my mirror. Uh, <laughs> I will take it off at some point. I know it looks dicky. But yeah, the glitter patent, which is here in the card section, uh, due to some environmental regulations, which were brought in recently, they have deemed that the glitter patent is too harmful to the environment to manufacture anymore. So basically they can't make it for me. And when they tell me that, I'm like, whoa, that's fine. I don't want to use that material when I hear it, it's that bad for the environment. My company did have a look around at a few markets to see if they could find enough of the pink patent that was already made, uh, but unfortunately they couldn't. So what we've done is we've changed this strip here, the patent strip, to black patent. And honestly, I think it looks cooler. If you go to my website, you'll see the mock-up that I've done. And you'll also see um, that it's available in green, red and also black and there's all the photos so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like but <laughs> i think it's killer i'm loving the red one personally i wish we would have done purple as well so maybe we will do that in the future but these babies are already half sold so by the time they come in stock in september they are consistently selling so they might be out of stock too so if you love this order it it also has a zipper section here <laughs> with all my crap and receipts and another zipper section so I use this one like a normal wallet for coins if I'm going out and I don't want to take my handbag I can fit my iPhone which is an iPhone 8 plus it's the biggest phone you can get it's like a brick so I put that in there I close it up with my little moon present and then I use the little handle and I'm set this also has death candy by Abelina Damore upward embossed on the side I have no idea if the camera silly camera is capturing that or not so hopefully it did the next bag that's being made in this massive massive order of handbags is my Black Friday handbag if you haven't seen this recently <laughs> take a gander at it now it is crazy beautiful now we are getting a massive 400 of these made we have already sold half of that so if you want this, I feel like a salesperson on that bloody morning show. I hate those pricks. So I will stop. If you want to just go and pre-order it, that's the last time I'm going to say that. You can also get this bag with or without the sigil of Lucifer. That is entirely up to you. I am not going to show you the interior of this bag because I've got it full of all my stuff, but it's so heavy I'm struggling to hold it. Another gorgeous bag that is currently being manufactured is this beauty here, the Mahafsoon handbag and the wallet. They are both in manufacturing. I'm so glad that we reached enough pre-orders. I believe we are more than halfway sold through the amount of stock that we've got. So please, I'm not gonna say it. Yeah, just get in so you don't miss out. This purple is so ridiculous. I took this bag to Los Angeles, so it is, um, it is worn really well. It's been on the airplane with me, it's been to Hollywood. It went to a few nightclubs with me and it survived everything and handled really well. The other thing that I will show you is the Mahafsoon wallet. Please remember that the Ankh will be, the vampire Ankh will be embroidered on the front. This is the first sample that we had made and we got so many comments from people saying we want the Ankh. Um, so we decided to add it, but for the sample that I have, it doesn't have it, so just use your imagination. I filmed a video with the lovely Mahafsoon while I was over in LA with her. Keep an eye out for that one. So that is a massive amount of bags. I'm <laughs> I'm scared for how many boxes are going to actually arrive into my house, and I'm so thankful that I have a room that can act as a warehouse. But I don't think it's going to be big enough. Thank you all for pre-ordering. It means the world to me and the girls that I work with. I've been thinking about trying a few different types of merchandise. I've just got a few ideas. Just like wheels are turning. I'm going to like change things up a little bit. I haven't exactly figured out how. <laughs> but when I know, I will let you know. Another thing that will be out very soon is the Black Friday men's wallet. I received it probably about four weeks ago now. And I did send it to Freya two or three weeks ago. But I know she's busy traveling around. So I don't think she's received that just yet. So we will try to align our launch videos together for this product. And I'm so glad to be able to cater for men now as well, which is something I've always wanted to do. I just needed to wait for the right moment, perhaps. Next, I'm also going to film another launch video for a very special bag. It does deserve its own video, so I will be doing that. So expect to be bombarded with videos over the next few weeks from me. I hope you guys have missed me. I've been through a few rough things recently. I've just kind of had to pull back from filming. And honestly, I haven't done my makeup since 
except today since I got home from LA probably six weeks ago. That's a long time for me. I normally do it once a week and get all dolled up and show you new products and stuff like that. So I've got a little bit of a backlog of things that I need to do, but I'm feeling better now and feel like I want to get back into the swing of things. I'm also filming in a different area of my house. Let me know if you like it. This is the living room. So I've got some little palm trees that I purchased the other day and we've got good old Frank. Oh, this is hard to do. There, my massive Frankenstein canvas. And there's just a bit more light in this area. So I thought I'd give it a go. It just feels a bit more open. Just like different for you to watch, even though you should be watching me, not really the background, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Please make sure you have that notification bell turned on so you are notified when I upload. I know that so many YouTubers are saying that this isn't happening anymore. So please, if you enjoy my videos and you are watching this now, go to my channel and next to subscribe, just hit the drop down and click the little bell something like that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Head on over to my website if you haven't already. I will keep you as updated as I possibly can on when the shipment is due to arrive to me. I will let you know when it is literally on the boat and that will take three weeks to get to me. If you guys remember, I did a poll on Instagram and Facebook and said, hey, if I send it via air, it's going to cost like nine grand to ship this much stuff to me. Um, the prices will be even dearer or alternatively, it'll be heaps cheaper but I can ship them via sea. The only catch is it's going to take a good three to four weeks. And you all said cheaper prices, longer wait. So if there is no manufacturing delays, I am told that they will be on the ship at the end of August, early September. And then there's three weeks and again, they have to clear customs. So please be understanding of this and know that it's completely out of my control. As soon as they are here, I need to quality check them with my assistant and we will start getting them out as soon as possible, which is exciting. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.